Hello everyone, and today we're going to get into my visit at the Mode Marine Laboratory and Aquarium. I saw many, many cool things here, some things that you would not see at your normal aquarium. And if I had to pick, I would say that this aquarium is the best one in Florida that I have been to so far. Now, one of the things that this aquarium has is two of the world's most well-trained manatees. Seen here is Hugh and Buffett. Buffett is the larger manatee that they had, and Hugh is smaller. Now we have one of their loggerhead turtles, which I actually got the opportunity to see them during a training session, as you can see there. Here we have an alligator snapping turtle trying to lure one of the fish in with its worm-like tongue that it has. I hope you all are enjoying this so far. I decided to do something different and talk over this one like I did not with the last one. Now here we have something that some of you guys have seen on the channel before. These are baby or larvae of a spotted jellyfish, otherwise known as a lagoon jelly. I've made videos on lagoon jellies before. Now these guys, once I saw these, I knew I had to take some videos of them. They are so cool. They're beautiful. The way that they move is so satisfying. I, one day I hope to have my own tank with these jellies in them. They just look so unique and just alien. Here we have what looks to be a male seahorse that is pregnant. Here we have another seahorse. I don't believe that one was pregnant. Right here, we have a shrimp that is hanging out on a sea anemone with his friend. And here we have a peacock mantis shrimp who came out to say hello as soon as I walked up to the tank. He was ready to see what was going on, who is this weird ginger coming up to the tank, and he said hello. Here we have a beautiful mandarin fish that once I saw this, I knew I could not pass up the opportunity to film him. Here we have a river otter. And here's some more footage of those manatees as once seen before. The larger one is Buffett and the smaller one is Hugh. Hugh is the more active one and they are the most well-trained manatees in the world. They are very active as you can see. Here we have a loggerhead turtle participating in a migrating thing that they do. We have a green sea turtle that is coming to say hello. Sadly, this one is blind. Here we have some sandbar sharks swimming around. As you can also see, the fish in this aquarium are very varied. There's a whole lot of different kinds. There's a large tarpon. The tarpon in this aquarium were massive. The largest tarpon that I've ever seen. These were bigger than some of the sharks. We have a sea cucumber here. We've got a bonnet head shark swimming around. We also have a cow nose ray coming to say hello. These are preserved baby great whites that they had. We have a scorpion fish here. Looks like a stonefish. It's related to the stonefish, but it's not the stonefish. However, they are venomous. As you can see, we have several different kinds of puffer fish swimming around, enjoying life. We have Molly, the coolest thing I saw there. I had never seen anything like this before. This was a preserved specimen of a 37 foot long, 500 pound giant squid. What you're seeing on the wall was the actual size. Here we have a spiny lobster. We have some moon jellies. They're so, so relaxing. One of the most relaxing jellies to watch. I have done a video on them. It was one of my first couple of videos that I did. As you can see here, now we have a Tina 4 or a comb jelly. They had a couple of these. Most of you who know about comb jellies will know that these are not related to the regular 
jellies that you see, they're not related. We have some more footage of that right here. As you can see, they look almost like walnuts. We have some more moon jelly footage. I love watching these things swim and pulsate through the water. They had a lot of labs in this building. They had baby moon jellies. They also have these sea nettles here, as you can see behind. There's also some more jellies. We have the upside down jellyfish. As you can see, here is a really interesting concept. We have plastic bags tied to look like jellyfish, and it shows you how they actually do look like jellies. And we have lionfish. We have really, really large lionfish. Some of the largest lionfishes that I have seen. Now, we got a close up here. You can see those spines on the dorsal and the caudal sides. We also have these are, I believe, pipefish. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're pipefish. Oh, no, they are striped shrimp fish. We have a day octopus right here, a day octopus. He was sort of out of his little cave. Right here, we have a sponge of sorts, but that's not what this exhibit was all about. There were sponges in there. However, this exhibit was about the dwarf cuttlefish. There was one awake up there, but most of the ones in the exhibit were asleep or hiding. We have some clownfish in this exhibit. There's a black and white clownfish at the back of the tank there. We have some sea anemones, of course. We have right here, I believe, a species of grouper. But there's also a moray eel in there. All in all, I have to say my visit to this aquarium was amazing, and I highly suggest you guys go visit it. 